Hi there, I'm on site at Electronica 2024 and joining me today is Suman Tapper, the Senior Product Engineer at Murata Electronics. Today we're going to be talking about LoRa and LoRaWAN technology and Murata's new LoRaWAN module, the Type 2GT Modem E. Thanks for being here Suman. Thank you. Could you start by introducing yourself? I'm Suman Tapa, Senior Product Engineer for LPWA Modules at Murata Ele Electronics and I'm based at our Murata France office. And uh, talking about Murata, Murata is a Japanese electronic manufacturing company, widely known for, uh, for electronic passive components su such as uh, MLCC, inductor, filters, and other kind of sensor. But uh, we are also a designer and a manufacturer of a different kind of connectivity modules, such as uh, Bluetooth, LoRa, ultra-wideband, cellular IoT, and Wi-Fi, etc. Great, thank you for that overview. So let's start by um, talking a little bit about LoRa and LoRaWAN. Tell us a little bit more about what these technologies are. So LoRa is a physical layer modulation technique that is uh, invented by a company called Semtech. So it's an intellectual property of Semtech. Actually, this is a physical layer which defines uh, transmission of a, a radio signal over the ear. Uh, using a very low power over a very long distance. And uh, on the other hand, LoRaWAN is all about, uh, or LoRaWAN was built on top of the LoRa modulation technique. And this is all about uh, managing the network communication. This, all, this protocol is, uh, all the specification of this protocol is defined by the non-profit organization, which is a LoRa Alliance. And this LoRa One protocol is all about managing the network communication plus sending the message payload to the cloud, defining the device type of the end devices and defining how the device should join to the network and most importantly, security. So why don't we look a little bit more at about, why don't we look a little bit more at your newly launched LoRa One module? Talk us through it. Mm -hmm. So actually, recently we launched a very new product, which is called Type 2 GT Modem E. So talking about this module, actually this module is a combination of Type 2 GT radio module by Murata Electronics. So this is a hardware. Plus uh, there is a LoRa One firmware, which is developed by Semtech. So all these two things together, uh, it becomes a low, uh, Type 2 GT Modem E. And to understand the concept of this Type 2 GT Modem E, so we need to understand these two separately and talking about the Type 2 GT radio module. So this radio module is a multi-band communication module uh, with a compact size of 9.98 into 8.7 millimeter. And within this compact size, it features LR1121 uh, RF transceiver IC from Semtech, which supports uh, LoRa and LRFSSS modulation over sub gigahertz band, 2.4 gigahertz band and 2.1 gigahertz band. Also, this module features TCXO and Crystal for uh, maximum frequency accuracy and reliability. It also has a, a matching component for optimizing the RF performance. Plus, there is also RF switch for managing the RF path. And talking about the firmware from Semtech, they call it a Modem E. This modem firmware already includes the LoRaWAN, LoRaWAN stack, and this stack is compliant to LoRa One specification 1.0.4, which is defined by the LoRa Alliance. And uh, what is special about this firmware is that this firmware supports two modes. One is LoRa One mode. If someone wants to make a device that is for LoRa One market, then they can use this mode. And if someone wants to make something for a proprietary market or Sigfox or any other protocol, then they can use this transceiver mode. And uh, highlighting about the LoRa One part. Uh, this, mo this modem e firmware is uh, it supports uh, all the worldwide regional parameter in the sub gigahertz band as well as uh, 2.4 gigahertz band and other features which it supports are like multicast, relay, CSMA, etc. So all these th two things together, this make this module a very special one. You've just given an overview of the technology and kind of how it works and its key features. But tell me about what motivated Murata to launch the module in the first place and the, the key driver behind it. 
It's a, very, it's a very good question. So Murata, we are in this uh, Laura One market almost from the beginning of the formation of the Laura Alliance. So we are one of the early adopters. So what we did in the past was uh, we were uh, providing an, an open MCU platform to the customer base. So when I say open MCU platform, so it's a module that we manufacture. It, it has a uh, integrated microcontroller plus RF trans receiver IC and a customer can directly use the microcontroller that is inside our module but over the recent couple of years uh, what we find out is that there are some kind of customer group who wanted things differently so some of the customer they wanted a fully certified uh, LoRa one module because they didn't want it to manage the LoRa one stack and some of the customer they already had their uh, preferred choice of microcontroller and they wish to stay on the same ecosystem they didn't want to use the microcontroller that we offer and some were coming from the proprietary protocol background and they wanted to have a easy pathway to migrate to lower our ecosystem and more recently uh, all the device maker who already had launched their end product to the market using the old generation chipset from Semtech now they wanted to redesign their device and launch their product to market uh, by accelerating time to market and reducing their development cost. So in a summary, this kind of customer were uh, looking for flexibility in the MCU selection, ease of integration in hardware and uh, software, and a very cost effective solution so that they can scale and reduce their time to market. And Murata as a being a customer centric company, so we decided to launch this product to help them to tackle these kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. So let's explore this point about time to market and cost being quite mm -hmm. important considerations. What does this look like? Did you have any indicators that you weighed it against? Yes. So this Type 2 GT Modem E module is fully committed to reduce the development cost and remove design complexities by or through uh, cost efficiency, simplification and flexibility. So when we talk about the cost efficiency, by using this kind of module in the end product design, uh, end customer will be able to reduce their production steps and they need to go through only fewer steps and a very simpler steps. This means they will be able to minimize their production cost. And uh, this module already includes the LoRaWAN stack. So this module uh, already has a LoRaWAN firmware, which means customer, they do not need to purchase a high specification microcontroller. They will be, they will be able to purchase a microcontroller, which is low cost, lower memory footprint. So it means they can also save some cost on their microcontroller part. And when we talk about uh, simplicity, this module will help the customer to simplify their PCB design. So majority of the component that is required to make an end device or sensor, they are already inside this module. This means the final PCB of the customer will be very simple. So this will uh, reduce the time to design this PCBA. And also what will happen is uh, since all the component, a uh, majority of the component are inside this module, they will be able to m reduce the size of their PCB, which means again, this will simplify, plus they will be able to reduce some, save some cost. And if we talk about software also, so this module already includes lower one stack and uh, customer, they do not need to go through a long time to understand the lower one stack and then implement in their system. So we provide a very easy APIs to control the firmware which means for the developers, it will reduce the time to develop and they are, will only focus on the application part. From flexibility point of view, customer can choose their own preferred microcontroller, which means they do not need to understand the other environment. If they stick with their own environment, then uh, they are even from the development point of view, they can quickly develop the product and quickly develop the software. Beyond uh, everything that you've just spoken about, are there any other additional advantages that the Modern Me offers to IoT and customers? So in addition to what I explained, uh, so using this module, 
So if a customer is making uh, an end device in sub gigahertz band and if they wish to expand uh, their end device to work in 2.4 gigahertz then they can still reuse the same module. They do not need to give up this product or they do not need to find another supplier. They can reuse this product for 2.4 gigahertz. Or also if someone wants to make a device that is uh, or that can communicate with the S-band satellite then even in this case they can still reuse this module and put some kind of customized uh, antenna and apart from this this module uh, we have already done regulatory certification for uh, US Europe Canada and Japan and when it comes to the end device certification by the customer they can leverage the test report which we have done already and also since this module already includes the uh, lower one stack plus since it uh, provides uh, the dual mode trans receiver mode and uh, lower one mode so if a company if they want to launch two product in the market that is lower one and sigfox for example in this case they can use this module as a one sku they can use a single hardware they just sell some firmware and then they can quickly launch this product to the market so one SKU for different product lineup or different portfolio also. So what are some of the applications that you expect customers to be able to use this product? Mm. So for this module, uh, there are various uh, applications, various IoT applications, but some of the application which we see as a perfect fit uh, can be a smart home solution, a smart building, a smart cities, even the utilities meter or some kind of sub metering they can leverage this type 2 gt modem e and if someone is making some devices in asset tracking they can still leverage this type 2 gt modem e product and especially in smart agriculture if they are making some sensors or anything around smart agriculture they can use it or even in the livestock monitoring part if someone wants to have a ear tag or a smart color than type 2 GT modem is one of the perfect fit. So these are just the some of the application that we see as a perfect fit. But uh, in reality, what I believe is uh, this type 2 GT modem E is uh, useful or fit for any kind of application that requires low power and wide area con connection. For those who might be watching and thinking, how do they start? with mm -hmm. the module, what would you say to them? So for the developers or any designer, if they want to start working with the Type 2 GT module, so I highly recommend to start with the first selecting the evaluation kit that is supplied by Murata. So even this development kit is already available in the DZ key. So as a first step, I recommend to go through the DZ key website and then purchase the evaluation kit and then uh, select your own preferred uh, microcontroller and uh, develop the firmware using in this environment and once you are uh, kind of convinced then you can start with uh, purchasing the samples even the samples are already available in DZ key and uh, they can make the prototype proof of concept using these samples and if they are finally convinced to make their final design then they can go on mass production with their final design with the module Thank you for that overview, it was really interesting. Could you tell us finally about your partnership with DigiKey and what it means for your customers? Hmm. So the partnership with the DigiKey is a very good relationship we are having uh, for the last couple of decades. So Murata as a supplier, uh, we need a partner like DigiKey because we are uh, our strength is on uh, designing and manufacturing and when it comes to shipping this kind of product to the market so we need a distributor like DigiKey and we have a very good relations between the technical team and the sales team and when it comes to sampling of our product then DigiKey is one of the best choice even for the customer because with DigiKey our customer can quickly get samples and they can quickly get this kind of evaluation kit and they have highly appreciate this kind of partnership between Murata and Diziki. And if a customer is happy, then we are happy. Great note to end on. Thank you for being here, Suman, and joining Thank me you. at Electronica. Thank you so much. Pleasure.